Mercedes AMG GLC 43 Coupe 2017 Review AMG's 43 engine gets slotted under the bonnet of the Mercedes AMG GLC Coupe with mixed results. Verdict 3 Star A difficult car to rationalize, the AMG GLC 43 Coupe is not without appeal. If Fast 4X4S are your tonic, we'd take along. Hard look at the Porsche make and not to mention the regular non-coupe AMG GLC. Performance is strong and the ride impressive, but the sometimes jerky automatic transmission lets the side down and that's more difficult to ignore. A real AMG, says AMG boss Tobias Mowers, is for those wanting driving pleasure that's undeniable, and in fairness the 362 BHP 3.0 liter V6 by turbo engine in the GLC 43 delivers isn't exactly paltry, it's just we've become accustomed to OMGs with huge numbers associated to them. We've already driven the regular AMG GLC 43, with this coupe version commanding a premium of just over 3,000 pounds. Many might consider that a big price to pay for what is essentially a less practical version with identical performance, but we came away impressed with the bi-turbo V6 crowning it as a suitable stepping stone before the proper AMG 63 arrives later. It might be two cylinders shy of its similarly charged V8 siblings, but there's a soundtrack that's suitably rousing. It can't offer the mighty New Year pop and fizz fireworks of a V8, but it's plenty shouty enough to remind you that it wears an AMG badge on the bootlet. The 4.9 second 0 to 62 miles per hour time is nothing to be embarrassed about, either, nor is the 155 miles per hour top speed. In fact, despite its size, the GLC 43 shares the same swift performance that's evident everywhere else this engine has been fitted. There's pace then, with an exciting exhaust note and a four-wheel drive system that's set up to be rear biased in its power delivery. The GLC 43 certainly feels more rear-wheel drive than most of its rivals. A Porsche make and driver will be having more fun thanks to sharper steering and neater handling, but it's a closer contest than you might think. The BMW X4 trails it, not just on how it feels behind the wheel, but looks too as the GLC Coupe is somehow less objectionably shaped than its Bavarian rival. AMG light styling obviously helps, but the GLC Coupe's tapered roofline and SUV stance works better externally at least. Inside, there's not much wrong with the space, though the view out the back is restricted, the narrow slot view given by the rear window further limited by the large rear pillars. Otherwise the interior is all familiar, with the same common infotainment system found elsewhere in the range. The seats are comfortable and space is decent, even if it's slightly compromised over the regular GLC. As is the norm, the AMG 43 features Merck's Drive Select system offering drive modes from Echo through to Sport Plus. The sportier settings work best here, as picking Echo and Comfort robs the GLC 43 Coupe's drivetrain of response and sees the 9-speed automatic transmission constantly shifting between its 8th and 9th ratios. It is enough to have you shifting to manual mode, simply to stop the indecision but do that and it can be a bit jerky in sport and sport and modes. The transmission is the weakest link in what's otherwise a fine package, actually. Sure, there's a bit of blare from the exhaust on the motorway, but if you don't like that there are plenty of other choices that'll suit including the regular AMG line in GLC 250D form. AMG's revisions also include changes to the three-chamber air suspension, which, even in its most taut settings, gives the GLC Coupe a decent ride. The GLC 43 Coupe won't suit everyone but that's kind of the point of it. Key Specs Model, Mercedes AMG GLC 43 Coupe Price, £50,960 Engine, 3.0 liter V6 by turbo petrol Power slash torque 362 bhp slash 520 nm transmission 9 speed automatic 
4 wheel drive 0 62 mph slash top speed 4.9 s slash 155 mph economy slash co2 33.6 mpg slash 192 g slash km on sale now